everyone, it's Nicole here for Simon Says Stamp with a card created with components from the July 2018 Simon Says Stamp card kit. This is a stenciled and layered background scene card featuring the stamps and images and greetings from the July card kit stamp set, One Cool Pineapple. This is also available for individual purchase. It is a fantastic large six by eight stamp set with lots of fun images and amazing greetings. I am taking a the Waves and Hills stencil and I stenciled like a little beach or some sand down near the bottom of my card. This is some Bristol Smooth cardstock and I inked that up with Antique Linen Distress Oxide ink. I love scene building with stencils. It creates a nice flat layer that still has tons of dimension because you can layer them, um, multiple different stencils, one on top of another, especially with Distress Oxide ink, which is super forgiving. This is the Simon Says Stamp Clouds for Days stencil. I'm a huge clouds stencil person. Um, this is amazing. There are some cloud shapes within the center of the border that's on the outside of the cloud stencil. So if you want to do cloud shapes, you can do that instead. I've done that on some other cards. Uh, using Simon Says Stamps and Dies, this is just a fantastic stencil. I am using the long edge and simply flipping it around using Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink to create this blue sky type of background above the beachy, sandy look. It could also kind of be waves, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. Um, but I wanted a tone-on-tone -tone look with the sentiment that I'm going to use for my card. And for my card today, I want to use the flamingo greeting from the stamp set up there in the sky, and I want it to be stamped with the same ink that I am using here for my design. And it just really gives a fantastic, beautiful, tone-on-tone -tone look. I love these scripty greetings. Now, a little of my blue ink got into that sandy ocean kind or beach, so I'm just taking my stencil and my tool and blending that back out, and it's so forgiving that you really kind of get rid of any of those little smudges. I did stamp my greeting there with ink. I stamped it a couple times using the Misty so I could stamp it one on top of another. And then I added the little I adore you sentiment from the Simon Says Stamp Messages for Everyday stamp set with black VersaFine ink. Now to add that sunshine up there above the greeting up in the left corner of the card, I am using the circle image from the One Cool Pineapple stamp set stamped with fossilized amber ink and then stamping the rays with Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. I did not worry about masking off the face at all. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my black VersaFine ink and try to stamp that. Now what I found that worked better was to just mask off the sun rays with some post-it tape. Then ink up the face with my black VersaFine ink remove all of those masks and stamp that face right there in the center of the sunshine. So it's a two-tone sunshine with the center being fossilized amber and the outside wild honey and then the face is very prominent with black ink. Now I stamped my flamingos from One Cool Pineapple multiple times on some Nina Smooth White cardstock using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink and then I'm coloring them in with Copic markers. This is a favorite color combination of mine and I think it worked really well for the flamingos. It's our 30, 32, and 35. All three are going to be stamped exactly the same. These are the only three colors for the main body of the bird. And then for the legs, we're going to use YR04 and YR00. I also used a flicking feathering motion for the feather areas of the card to give it a little bit more texture. Added some little dots with the tips of my Copic markers with both of the two darkest colors there. That also a little orange area on the beak of the bird and the legs. 
and then the rest of the beak with some warm grays, warm grays zero, zero, three, and eight. And that's going to finish off the bird. Now what's awesome also included in the July kit is the amazing flamingo die. What's awesome is this die cuts super close to the flamingo design. So if you're not a huge fan of having a white outline around your die cut images, this die works amazing. I love it. I was able to die cut all three flamingos. I did not have to restamp or recolor any of them. Look at how awesome that looks. I was so thrilled. I'm gonna take some Ranger Multi Matte Medium and glue these in place along the bottom edge of my card. And the two over on the right, I'm gonna slightly overlap. So we'll lay down the first one and then add some adhesive to the last flamingo. And now it's time basically for finishing details. That's gonna be a little white pin detail, a little black detail for the eyes on the images and some awesome sequins also included in this July kit. So I'm gonna grab my ebony black Nouveau Crystal Drops and add detail to the eyes. And of course I smeared it on one of the eyes on my sunshine. So I'm gonna use a craft knife to pick up and move those Nouveau Crystal Drops before it dries. I probably could have let it dry all the way too and then try to pick it up, but I like to just kind of scrape very gently to remove that excess ink. And then I've got this awesome little summer mix of sequins that comes in the July kit. I'm gonna use Ranger Multi Matte Medium and a jewel picker to pick these up and just pop them all over the top portion of the card. I like how sparkly they are. They add a fantastic decorative element to the card without overwhelming it. And my jewel picker is pretty sticky, so sometimes I have to use a craft knife or another type of tool to kind of help make sure it just stays on the adhesive. Once I get these last few sequins in place, I have just a few additional finishing touches and then we can pop this panel on a card base grab the doll pink envelope from the kit. I think it looks great with this card. So again, the Ebony Nouveau Crystal Drops I'm gonna use for the eyes on my flamingos. I have misplaced my, my black gel pen that I usually use, so I tried out the Nouveau Crystal Drops and they did work really well. Have to be a little careful, but they do work great. And then I'm gonna take a white pen this is a white opaque pen. It looks like that one was dry. And we're gonna add some nice white pen detail to the flamingos. And it adds a great little finishing touch. Just little highlights here and there all over all three of these. I think we'll add a little bit to the sunshine as well and add some white dots to the sunshine's cheeks. Give it a little bit of a whimsical look. And also take a fine tip black pen and add some eyelashes to this sunshine. Adding eyelashes is always one of my favorite things to do. I think it just kind of softens the face and gives it a really fun look. These little white dots are really cute too. I'm adding some glossy accents to the beaks on all three flamingos. Once this is completely dry, I can go back over it and add some nice little highlights with my white opaque pen. You could add them before, 
but I have found that the detail is much better if you do it on top of dry glossy accents rather than trying to do it underneath. Sometimes it almost even fades. And so I generally try to add those little white accents on top of anything with glossy accents um, after it's completely dry. And it will dry really quickly and then I'm going to take a Stardust glitter pen and add some little dots all over the sandy beach. I think it helps give that illusion of sand. You could even add some little white dots if you wanted to. Glue this panel in place right on top of the card. And I'm just going to flip it around real quick and add those eyelashes that I was talking about. Help keep my hand out of the glossy accents on the bird's beaks. Here's those little white highlights. And my card is all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this flamingo scene card featured stenciled and layered, a stenciled and layered background using the July 2018 card kit. Please be sure to visit the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information on this project. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, and we'll catch you next time.